Morning guys, happy Saturday. Yeah, it's the weekend. So we've just about got up, we've been awake about half an hour. I've had a lovely cuddle with Alfie on the bed. We tend to let him up on the bed on weekend mornings. Um, we're going to have a bacon sandwich, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, so what we're doing today is we're going to Doncaster. Um, it's my nephew's 13th birthday. Um, and we're going to an escape room so we'll see what that's like um, about an hour and a half in there trying to escape a room um, and then we're going to McDonald's um, now I know there's this chicken and bacon salad that you can have I think it's it's one and a half sins or very low sin anyway without the dressing but I saw on a Facebook page that a few people have been and it wasn't available. So I've decided to make some of my rice, which I'll also show you later. Because I know that if I went into McDonald's and they said, oh, we haven't got the salad, then I would make a wrong choice. And also, something like Happy Meal, yeah, that's a really good idea. But it wouldn't fill me up and that would probably lead me to on to eating something else that I shouldn't be eating. So I've prepared some rice and uh, and veg and stuff uh, to eat while they're having their McDonald's. And then we'll come back and hopefully we'll at least get the tree, Christmas tree up, if not decorated. It's one of those that you have to assemble, so it takes a good while to assemble it. So, and I'm going to strip the bed as well today because it's needed, it needs doing. So I'm feeling a bit active today, so that's a nice weekend It looks quite clear and it's not raining anyway, so hopefully it'll be nice weather. I'm not sure how much I'll be able to vlog of being out and about because there's another, another child going and I won't be able to vlog that child and it seems unfair to sort of film well without filming the other child so but I'll I'll film as much as I can while I'm out uh, and it, yeah it's an escape room in Doncaster and I'll leave a link to the website below so you can get some kind of idea where we're going I'm excited I like doing things um, I think that's about it but yeah I'll strip the bed go and have some breakfast and maybe come back on in a bit so here we go here's my bacon sandwich for a Saturday morning breakfast we've got some three slices of bacon medallions some tomato sauce for one sin and it's on a Fitzgerald bagel slim which is a healthy extra B, but it's only available in Ireland, unfortunately. I had these sent to me by a very lovely Irish lady. I've also got some apple slices for speed and to help fill me up, and my usual fruit tea. So we've stripped the bed and we've done a bit of cleaning. I'm all ready to go. Andrew's playing with something in the car. You might notice that the table's gone. This is the space where we're going to put the Christmas tree. So the table's gone and we're going to put the Christmas tree there, hopefully this afternoon. So we'll get it down, we'll do the assembly. We might not get the baubles on, but we'll see how far we get. And of course, I'll show you. So I'll show you an outfit of the day and my little bits that I've got ready for myself to eat. So just in case I don't get a chance to show you while we're out and about, this is what I'm taking to eat while we're out at McDonald's, etc. So I've got the Uncle Ben's rice, which is half of a packet, one and a half sins. Um, the golden vegetable one. I've got some stir-fried ribbing veg. And I've got some chunky chicken. So that'll be my savoury. And then I've got some raspberries. And a satsuma and a hi-fi light bar for three sins. So if I eat all that, I will write it in my diary and let you know. But I am actually looking forward to this rather than a McDonald's. Oh, sorry, I also forgot something. I'll, of course, also be taking my 
hydrate make bottle to drink during the day. So my outfit of the day is a top from Evans, um, leggings from Evans and boots from Evans. So I just thought I'd give you a look of my whole body to see if you can tell the difference. If you look on some of my holiday vlogs, you'll see that I've done outfits of the day before. Or if you look um, at the Menno Hall haul, which is quite an early video, you'll see uh, a full body shot there. So t let me know what you think of my video and if you can, t uh, sorry, my outfit and if you can tell any difference. So I'm currently standing at six stone five pound loss or six stone five and a half. So I'm almost there with that six and a half stone and we're going to have a lovely day and I'll catch you later. This is me outside the Enigma Rooms in Doncaster. Brilliant place to spend a day. Highly recommend. And that's us with our photo. After we got rescued, we didn't make it out. That's my meal in McDonald's. Andrew with his chicken sandwich, me with my rice. And that's William with his birthday card. He's 13. Growing up so quick. Hi guys, we're back from Doncaster, that's where we've been. So, came back from Doncaster and took Alfie straight out for a walk. So that was half an hour walk. And also we've done quite a bit of walking in Doncaster Town Centre from the car park to the place and then to McDonald's and then back to the car park. So I've had well over my hour's worth of exercise that I like to do on a weekend, on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, so where we went in Doncaster was an escape room called Enigma and there's four, three, four or five different types of rooms in there. Um, I, unfortunately I couldn't take, I wasn't allowed to take any footage at all inside the room. Um, they obviously don't want people looking and spoiling the secret of how to escape but it was a, an amazing experience. So the place is called Enigma. It's in Doncaster City Centre. Uh, they treat, treated us really well. I'll leave all the details below. And we went in a room called Hostage. Um, so basically you are uh, handcuffed to each other and at first you wear blindfolds. Um, and you have to look for lots of different clues and keys. Um, and there's three different places that you have to try and progress through to get out of the door at the end and you're in there for an hour or an hour and a quarter um, but unfortunately we didn't manage to escape we got stuck on the second to last clue um, I won't spoil it any more than that in case anybody does um, want to go and have a, a go but I really would recommend it especially if you've got younger teenagers we had two 13 year olds with us um, my sister's son William and my brother's son who are both 13 um, and they both loved it and we enjoyed it as well um, and it's not a greatly um, physical thing so just a little bit of crawling or, or sort of walking down low but it's not greatly physical so and there were actually a couple of chairs so if you're not um, overly fit then it's uh, still a good activity to do um, so yeah, so, and it was £65 for five of us um, so that works out about £13 each so it was a really good time and uh, then as you might have seen from the photos we went to um, McDonald's and all the rest of them had had their meals and I had my rice and raspberries and a diet coke and Andrew had my chicken sandwich with regular fries and regular Fanta um, you can I've meant to look how many sins that was for you but I'm sure you can imagine how many sins that is so I'm really proud of myself I've never actually managed to resist from McDonald's before um, what I would have had originally if I wasn't on Slimming World would be a, a quarter pounder with cheese meal with large fries, large coke, cheesy melts or cheesy bites and a McFlurry. So you can see that we've had a bit of a change of lifestyle with Slimming World and I'm hoping that I get rewarded with the scales. 
I've got my um, Pucker Peppermint and Licorice. Oh. So yeah, that escape room, yeah, definitely, definitely worth a visit. It's Enigma and I believe there's a few around the country. So I'll leave all their links below. And you get a photo at the end of, uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you that, uh, with either we escaped or we didn't escape. So yeah, it's a really good experience. Um, so we've got all the stuff for the tree down and um, hopefully we'll at least actually get the tree assembled if not decorated. tree there's quite a few different colored branches and you stick them all in the in the at the correct order and then Andrew's going to come in and stick the top bit on and then it'll all need fluffing up to fill the gaps do you have an assembled tree or do you buy a, a, a fresh one so it's eight an eight foot tree all together and it's a slim, slim eight foot tree. I can't remember where we got it from. Online somewhere, I think. And it's about, we've had it about eight years, I think. So yeah, needs a bit of touching up, but, but we all... we'll get there. Yeah, a cheeky one. <laughs> oh. Yeah. For Saturday tea, I've got a chicken breast which has got the Nando's barbecue rub on it um, and I've got some potato chips and butternut squash um, squares or cubes and some mixed veg with mayo for half a sin. Then I've got a satsuma and a skinny latte yoghurt which I will stir half a sin worth of chock shot in and no added sugar orange juice so I've got uh, one sin on that whole table so half a sin for my mayo and half a sin of chock shot and here we are here's the Fawcett's Christmas tree 2016 with Snoopy in the background and a star on the top so we've got some handmade felt decorations some stars, lots of lovely ornaments from the from a couple of garden centres. Gold, white and red and purple is the theme. Then we've got the multicoloured lights in the background. So we've got a couple of doves of peace and stars with A and D on. 
this is our corner for the Christmas tree and we especially like it because usually all the photos have Snoopy in the background. So as Saturday evening snack I've made a picking bowl. So I have a mint hi-fi bar chopped up for three cents. I have a 25 gram fudge for five and a half cents. I have two marshmallows for a sin each and two Marks and Spencer's Super Mini Lemon Meringues which are half a cent each and then I've got a hot chocolate options for two sins made with my healthy extra of milk. So nice picking bowl there. Uh, so I end the day on 14 sins and I've worked out that um, Andrew's McDonald's which he had a McChicken sandwich with regular fries and regular drink his chicken sandwich was 19 and a half, his fries were 11 and a half, and his Fanta was 8 and a half. That's 39.5 cents I've saved myself there at least. So, just something to think about when you're out and about in town shopping. And I'm going to go and enjoy these treats now.